Hi everyone, it's uh, another unboxing and I'm excited and let's just get straight into it, shall we? It's a bag. They gave me a polka dot bag. nicely wrapped. I must be promoting this polka dot collection because it's way past now. It's the receipt. So excited! Ah. People probably hear me screaming in my neighborhood. It's like, what is she doing screaming? to move it into another spot. Okay, let's try this again. I've moved to a different area because it's too windy. I couldn't even get this box open. As you can see, I was trying to open it and the wind is constantly pushing it with such resistance. So, and now look, all this wrapping is ruined by the wind. <sighs> so I like to do this outside in the daylight so that I, it's easier to see if it's scratch or anything like that, but can you guess the size? It's very small. It's a BB size. It's a classic shaped. Yeah. Very exciting. It's rumored to have, first one was made for Coco Chanel, although she's never had a picture with it on, but she gave permission for LV to release it to the public. So here we go. I was debated between different prints, you know, but. It's 
it is the Alma BB, as you can tell clearly, right? So here it says Louis Vuitton Paris. It smells amazing. Let's see if there are scratches. Because I hate buying online because you know you're at the mercy. Uh, there is a huge scratch right here. I don't know if you can see. There's a huge scratch and it's not made by me. I hate that. On this side, I really like it, how big the zipper pull is. I'm gonna see if there are scratches on these rivets. So there's no sticker intact, so does that mean it was a return? Oh, I hate it. Oh, all the rivets here have scratches on them. And I don't know if you can see. There's no, you know, sticker intact. I told myself that if if it comes with no scratches and this thing has like the protective st sticker was still on it, I will keep the bag. <laughs> this is why I hate ordering online. And people just like, they buy this stuff and they don't take care of it and they just return it. And then the next person gets Oh, so annoying. You know, paying $2,600, you want it to be scratch free. I don't know if you can see, but it's scratched. I hate it. I hate it. I just wanted a bag that's perfect and new and I don't have to return anything. Because returning is not fun, you know? Let's see. Let's see the lock on the inside to see if it's scratch, I really hate it. The lock looks really good. There is no scratches on that one, so thank God, but. All these dust bags are made in India nowadays. There's a huge scratch on this key. Ugh. Okay, it's scratch. Clearly this person must have used it and returned it or something. Ugh, I hate this. I really want to get a bag that's for me to travel. There's fingerprint on this. Seriously, what these designer expensive bags should do is that if they sell this thing new and it comes back with even one scratches, it should not be, be able to return it. You, you scratch it, you keep it. I know I'm not going to be able to live with the fact that it's come scratch and not made by me. I hate it. 
I don't know if you can tell in here, but I can see it in the daylight. The rivets in here are scratched. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should keep, keep it or uh, return it? I was really hoping, you know, the stickers and stuff will still be like protective sticker on it, but it's not. I just want to get a new bag. What do you guys think? Would you keep something that's like pretty scratched up? Like as in clearly someone... Like why did you remove the stickers if you weren't going to keep it? Ugh. Okay, I've been getting a really ba a lot of bad luck not getting brand new bags. I feel like I should just stop buying. I'm really disappointed. Like if I if I bought this with you know second hand like fashion file in new condition but with minor scratches I'll be fine with that. But this is not from fashion file. This is from Louis Vuitton itself and it comes scratch. I don't know. The feet, it does say Louis Vuitton on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's probably a million videos of this. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> this unboxing. Um, and if you've watched this far thanks for watching my video subscribe and thumbs up and help grow my channel until next time i'll see you later guys bye